सब्जेक्ट नेम सर्किट एनालिसिस टॉपिक नेम नोडल एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन फाइंड आई ओ यूजिंग द नोडल एनालिसिस हेयर इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई ओ यूजिंग नोडल एनालिसिस सोल्यूशन बिफोर फाइंडिंग दिस सोल्यूशन हेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज अवर सिमुलेटर एप एंड वी हैव मेड दिस सेम सर्किट एज हेयर हेयर दिस इज अ करंट कंट्रोल्ड करंट सोर्स दिस इज ऑल्सो अ करंट कंट्रोल करंट सोर्स एंड हेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस वी ओ एंड आई ओ वी जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड आई ओ हेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज अ एम मीटर एंड दिस इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ आई ओ वी गॉट आई ओ इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स मिली एम पी आर सो दिस इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ आई ओ एंड दिस इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ वी ओ नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस सेम सर्किट एंड गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ओ यूजिंग सर्किट एनालिसिस एंड नोडल एनालिसिस मेथड सोल्यूशन Now here, first of all, we will make the ground. Here, at the bottom, we have to assume this as an reference node or as a ground. So this is a reference reference node. Now let's say this is node A, and this is node B, and let's say this is node C. Now what we will do? We will assign the directions of current. So first of all, let's say this current is current I one. This current is let's say this is current I two. This is current. Let's say this current is I three. And this current is I O already. Now what we will do? Here we can see. Now what we will do? We will apply KCL at node A. So apply KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law at node A. Now according to Kirchhoff's current law, summation of all the current entering a node is equal to summation of all the current leaving the node. Now here, according to KCL, summation of I in is equal to summation of I out. Here, entering current at this node is this current. This I two is the entering current. So I two is equal to we can write I two is equal to leaving currents are I one plus I O. These two currents are leaving current. This I one is leaving from here, and this I O is also leaving from here. So it will be I one plus I O. I one plus I O. Now we will write this I two I one and I O in voltage form. So first of all, this I two in voltage form will be this node voltage. Let's say this node voltage is V B, this node voltage is V A, and this node voltage is V C. So it will be V B minus V B minus V A, V B minus V A divided by V B minus V A divided by six kilo ohm. Six into ten to the power three is equal to I one. Now this I one in voltage form will be V A minus V C divided by one kilo ohm. V A minus V C divided by one into ten to the power three plus I O. Now this I O will be V A minus zero divided by one kilo ohm. V A minus zero divided by one kilo ohm. Now we will simplify this, so it will be here this ten to the power three, and this ten to the power three, this ten to the power three will get cancelled because they are common on both side. So what remains? V B by six minus V A by six is equal to V A minus V C plus V A. V A Minus V C plus V A. Now we can take this on this side, so it will be minus V A. This will be minus two V A. Minus two V A. And this will be minus V A by six. Then this will be plus V B 
by 6 then this will be plus Vc plus Vc is equal to 0 this will be 2 minus 2 Va on left side then this Va by 6 as it is then this Vb by 6 as it is then plus this will be plus Vc now again this will be minus 2 minus 1 by 6 so it will be minus 2 minus minus 2 minus 1 by 6 so it is minus 13 by 6 minus 13 by 6 Va plus Vb by 6 plus Vc is equal to 0 let's say this is our equation number 1 now next we will apply KCL at node B. Now apply KCL at node VB. Now again according to KCL, summation of all the entering current is equal to leaving currents. So here entering current is 2IO. So 2IO is equal to leaving currents I2 plus I3. I2 plus I3. So this will be 2 IO. Now IO in voltage form will be IO in voltage form will be VA minus VA minus 0 divided by 1 kilo ohm. VA minus 0 divided by 1 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to I2. Now I2 in voltage form VB minus VA divided by 6 kilo ohm. Vb minus Va divided by 6 kilo ohm. Vb minus Va divided by 6 kilo ohm then I3. Now I3 is Vb minus Vc divided by 1 kilo ohm. Vb minus Vc divided by 1 kilo ohm. So 1 into 10 to the power 3. Now again here this 10 to the power 3 is common on both sides so this will get cancelled so what's remain 2 Va is equal to Vb by 6 minus Va by 6 plus Vb multiplied by uh, v plus Vb minus Vc so again we will simplify this we will take this on left side so it will be 2 VA 2 VA then this will be plus VA by 6 then this will be minus VB by 6 then minus VB and this will be plus VC is equal to 0 now we, we will simplify this this will be 2 plus 1 by 6 2 plus 1 by 6 it is 13 by 6 13 by 6 VA and this will be minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 so it is minus 7 by 6 minus 7 by 6 Vb then plus Vc is equal to 0 now let's say this is equation number 2 now next we will apply KCL here at this node apply KCL at uh, this node Vc or we can say Vc is equal to here we can see clearly Vc is equal to 13 volt because it is connected to ground directly so we can say Vc is equal to 13 volt but Vc is equal to 13 volt so therefore equation 1 and equation 2 will be equation 1 
and this is our equation number two. So this will be minus thirteen by six V A minus thirteen by six V A plus V B by six. Here in place of V C we will write thirteen. So on right side it will be minus thirteen. Minus thirteen. Here this will be thirteen by six V A minus seven by six. VB is equal to minus thirteen. So let's say equation one, e equation A, and equation B. Now solving equation A and B. By solving equation A and B, we get now we have to solve this in calculator. So mod phi u, then Here there are two unknowns, so we have to take equation number one. So it will be minus thirteen by minus thirteen by six one by six minus thirteen thirteen by six minus seven by six minus thirteen. So is equal to V A is equal to eight. V A is equal to eight volt, and V B is equal to twenty six volt. Now we got the value for V A, V B, and also V C is equal to thirteen volt. V C is equal to thirteen volt. Now we can easily find the value of I O. I O is equal to I O is equal to This voltage V A minus zero divided by one kilo ohm. V A minus zero divided by one into ten to the power three. So V A value is eight divided by one into ten to the power three. So it will be eight into ten to the power minus three. Since it is a current, so its unit will be ampere. So therefore. I O is equal to eight into ten to the power minus three ampere. Since it is a ten to the power three is there, so I O is equal to eight milli ampere. Now we will check the answer in our simulator app. Here we can see we got minus forty one point six milli ampere. So let's change the terminals of this. Maybe we have done the wrong wrong connections, so let's change the connections. Here, let's connect these wires from here to here, like this, and it is like this, it's like this. Here, also like this. Now we got the correct answer. Here we can see we got the eight milli ampere as the answer. We we have done the wrong connections here. That's why we are not getting the correct answer. But now we got correct answer, which is eight milli ampere. So here we can see we got the answer eight milli ampere, and also the voltage across this one kilo ohm resistor is. Eight volt. That is, here also we can see, V A is equal to V A is equal to V O. Therefore, since V A is equal to V O, therefore it is equal to the value of V A is eight volt. So therefore, this will be eight volt. So this is the final answer. If you find this video helpful. Then feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.